Hey everyone, so today I am doing a review and it's just going to be on Essence products in general. Um, I love these products. You can get them at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada and I know that in the States I think you can get them at Ulta. So I'm just going to get started. Um, these are kind of like eye products. So, oops. After. Okay, so we're going to start off with eye products. Um, the first one I have is this Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. This is in Tutu Turquoise. And I love this color and I love this pencil to begin with. Um, this one, it says, super soft eye pencil for precise application and long lasting, and it is long lasting. Um, I've worn it to work, and I work it in like heat and everything because I work as a server, so I'll give you a swatch of this. It's got a little bit of glitter on it, but it's not like chunky glitter or anything like that, and it's a very beautiful color, and normally I put it on my waterline as like a pop of color, so yeah, love that. And the next one is from their Ready for Boarding collection. This is the 2-in-1 Cajal Pencil. Um, Two-color Cajal Pencil for expressive de definition. So this one is in O2 via airmail. I don't think you can get this one anymore unless you like buy it online. But So it comes with like a brown color, which I don't have many brown, well, especially this color. And then it comes with like this silvery gray color. So that's them right there. Um, these two are very pigmented, and I think it's cool how you get two in one, two different colors. Um, the next one is like an eyebrow pencil. This is the lightest color, and as you can tell, my eyebrows are pretty dark. So um, this is their eyebrow designer. This is in 04 Blonde, and they come in like different colors. So yeah, and it was, it was a pretty big pencil. I think it was like two here, and I've used it a lot. And it says eyebrow pencil with brush for perfectly designed eyebrows. And this is what the brush looks like. So yeah. I love this. Um, it's very... I fill in my eyebrows with it almost every day and I just love it. I just love the color. The color, believe it or not, not does match even though it does say blonde. But it's basically for darker eyebrows I would say is what it starts off. And there's other colors other than that one. This one I've had for a while. This is the Essence Liquid Eyeliner. And this is what this one looks like because they have more than one. They have this one and then they have like a bottle one. But anyways, this one comes with a, it looks like a sponge applicator, like it's on a brush. I prefer the brush. I don't really like the sponge. And I'll give you a swatch of this one. That's what it looks like right there. Um, this one's in black, obviously. It is a very good formula, don't get me wrong. It stays on quite a bit. Um, after it dries, it doesn't really smudge. The only part that I don't like about it is the applicator, only because I was trying to give you a small line, and that's pretty big of a line. Like, pretty thick of a line. So, to me, that is the only downfall of this product. Um, other than that, I love it. And it tells you, like, the expiry date, like, after, like, six months and stuff. Like, you should throw it out, but, yeah. Next product is the eyeshadow. Um, this is the only quad that I've tried, but um, this one is in 05 to die for. And this is what it looks like. It's just all natural colors. I love them. And I'll give you some swatches. I'm going to sneeze in a second. Stupid allergies are bugging me. Okay, so anyways, that's what they look like. If I can try to... Like that. Stupid allergies. So, that's what they look like right there. Um, there you go. Now you can kind of see them. Very pigmented. Um, the one kind of looks chalky, but it's really not. Um, I just got like a huge swatch from sticking my finger in it. They are very pigmented. A little goes a long way. Like I wear this every day for a month, and I haven't even hit pan on it yet. Like this one has a bigger one. I haven't really used this color because I basically just use like three, these three colors. I use this one for my lid color. I use this one for like my brow bone and inner tear duct, and then I use that one for the crease. Um, so yeah, I haven't really use the other one a whole lot, but I love these. Very pigmented, um, very, and this brand to begin with is very affordable. It's kind of like as, um, price range as, as Wet n Wild, so I love that. Um, next is this Vintage District Blush. This is from a different collection, and it's called, it's Popular. Is what it's called. And this is what it looks like now. Um, 
where that little flower is, as you can kind of tell, maybe, um, it has gold on it. And the gold was the shimmer, which was the only part that I didn't like about this. Um, I don't really like shimmery stuff. So if you, like, swatch it, it'll be, um, it'll have, like, some sparkle to it. But if you, like, swipe it over again, then it's just, like, a peachy color. Which, my lighting sucks right now because it's raining outside and it's horrible. Horrible weather. But I needed to film a video. Yeah, so, I really wanted to try, like, a peach blush and you're not going to be able to see that. That's right there. So it's a light peach color. You can kind of make it out right there. Light peach color. Great for the summer. Also pigmented. Um, very affordable. Next one is my favorite blush of all time. Um, this is the Essence Silky Touch Blush. And as you can tell, I've hit pan on this one. Um, this is in 20 Baby Doll. And this is the color right there. It's kind of coming, kind of coming more dark on camera than what it actually is. It's a little bit darker. Um, I love this. It is silky, like it says. Very creamy, very long lasting. Give me a swatch of this one. So that is the lights coming from this way. So it's gonna be kind of hard, but yeah. So. Maybe if I go like that. There you go. You can kind of see it now. Yeah, so there's that blush. Um, I love that line of blushes. Um, I've tried a couple of those ones. The last, like, face product I have for you is this huge bronzer. This is the Essence Sun Club. This is in blondes. This is for brighter skin. It is a matte bronzing powder is what it's called. And it's a natural. And as you can tell from this one, I haven't used it a whole lot, but I've used it a couple times and a little goes a long way. But look at how big this compact is. It is huge, and I love the two like girls right there. So I will uh, give you a swatch of this. So that's that one right there. And I thought that if um, I would buy the lighter one, and then if I got tan, then I could use it as a highlighter as well. So, yeah, I kind of can't see. Maybe if I turn that light a bit. Where did it go? Oh, right there. It kind of blends in with my skin right now, so that's it right there. You kind of can't tell, but it's right there. And then the last three products I have are lip glosses. Um, two of them are from the same like line, and the other one isn't. So um, the first one is this Essence Stay With Me Long Lasting Lip Gloss. This is the newest one that I've tried. Um, it says, Colorful Lip Gloss for Glossy Lips. This is in my favorite milkshake. And it's this light pink color, and that's pretty much true to color right there. And this applicator is a little bit different. It's got like the two bumps. Makes it makes it easy to put it on your lips. It smells like candy. Um, the long lasting part with this is the fact that it's thick. That is the only part that I don't like about this one. This is the fact that it's thick. Um, but it does last. It's really good. It's not really sticky. Um, it's got like a little bit of a st like a sticky texture to it. But I think most lip glosses do. And like I said, they like all smell like candy. So. Yeah, that, oh, I'll give you guys a swatch, or try to, with everything else on my face. And then, this one is very buildable, too, like, you can build the color, or you can have it, like, sheer. This is going to be in between my knuckles, so this is going to be a little hard. Um, so it's that one right there, light pink, very beautiful color. And then I have two of the XXL Shine Glosses, and as you can tell by these ones, I love them, because they're almost empty. This one, is especially. So, um, this one is a nude candy, and it's like a nude color, with a little bit of shimmer in it. And then this one is in Bubble Babe, Bubble Babe and someone on here actually told me to try it out, and uh, I love this color. It's just like, um, this one is more like clear, but with sparkles. And, um, the applicator in these are huge. It's a little bit dirty, because I use it on top of lipstick, so I will swatch it. And I just love the smell of these. Mm, they all smell like candy. They smell so great. Um, these ones are a little bit thinner, so if you're looking for a little bit of a thinner formula to try, I would try the XXL Shine glosses. Um, this nude one is, I wouldn't say it's nude, I would say it's more of a, like a baby peach color. Like it's not too peach, but it's, I wouldn't say it's light pink either. So, here are some swatches right here. 
That one right here that you can hardly see is a bubble babe, and then that one is the nude one right there. So yeah, that is my review today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.